to show you what's going on. There's a lot to talk about. That 's story is amazing. Yeah. All right, 43 in the metro right now. South southeast winds at five miles an hour. Temperatures across the north, 20s and 30s, some 50s out to the east and down to the south. Temperatures mainly in the 40s. Looking at the satellite and radar right now, you wouldn't know we have a big storm headed our way. Things are quiet with mainly clear skies, and tomorrow is going to be another nice day. Now, the one change tomorrow will be gusty winds across the east side of the state tomorrow afternoon. So watch out in the mountains and northeast where we're going to be pretty windy, but we're still going to be warm here in the metro. We'll get into the low 60s, low 70s out to the east. A lot of sunshine on the way, and then by Thursday, cold front comes in and a storm system approaches as well, and that starts to change everything. So let's get into details with your storm report number one. Right now, the storm is developing off the Pacific coast. Timing on this thing, this is a real key. Thursday through Sunday, that is a long time frame for a storm. And what to expect out of this deal? Well, heavy mountain snow is, I think, a pretty good bet. Widespread valley mixes and some rain showers looks like a pretty good bet, too. And cold temperatures, or at least colder temperatures, no doubt. Bus potential on this is actually really low right now, given that we're still a couple of days out from this storm. And the reason it's really low is a couple of different reasons, really. But what we like across the board here is that as we drive that cold front in across the east side of the state here, we're going to start to introduce some moisture. This is on Thursday. And then a storm system starts to approach from the west, that is also going to draw moisture in from the Pacific. So it's that moisture convergence, the coming together of moisture across the state, which looks as good as any storm we've seen so far this winter. Now, it doesn't mean everyone's going to get snow. We could well mix rain and snow here, but it does look like in the higher elevations of the northern and central mountain chains, we're going to do very, very well here. And what's interesting about this storm well, the core of the system itself is not likely to come right through New Mexico as this happens. It's effectively going to sit to our west, and it's just going to set up that flow pattern, which could be critical to getting showers across the area here over a three- or four-day stretch. And that three- or four-day stretch is really one of the big things we like about this storm. So let's break down what we do like about this system. Number one, we like the moisture flow because you're going to get some easterly moisture behind the front. You're going to get some westerly moisture around the storm. Those two collide over the state. That's number one. Remember, the big limiting factor for storms in New Mexico is usually moisture. That won't be the case with this one. Number two, there is some cold air with it with that backdoor cold front sliding across the state on Thursday. And number three, the storm sticks around to our west here through at least Saturday. So we're probably looking at some shower activity Thursday, a lot on Friday, and a lot on Saturday as well. So maybe even a little on Sunday. So it's the long duration that we like on this too. So overall, there's a lot to like about this storm. Now, there's also some stuff that could go wrong. We'll get into that tomorrow and what we expect to happen. So you have your forecast fine-tuned as you head out for Thursday and Friday. But you can see in every seven-day forecast, including the one up in southwestern Colorado, we are looking at the possibility of showers and accumulating mountain snows as well. Meanwhile, across the southwest, partly cloudy and warm conditions for tomorrow. And then the showers break out Friday and Saturday. High Gila snow will be possible across the southwest. Across the southeast, plenty of sunshine for tomorrow. And a look at the temperatures crater. High 30s Friday and Saturday with a shot at rain and snow. And obviously a lot of Sacramento mountain snow too. 57 in Springer, 59 in Las Vegas, and 53 in Mora. Going to be windy for tomorrow. And then... Snow and rain break out Friday and Saturday. Northern mountains could well get pasted with some heavy snow from this system Friday and Saturday as well. East mountains, too, look like a good spot for a lot of snow Friday and Saturday with gusty winds tomorrow out of the northwest as high as 40. Meanwhile, here in the metro area, mostly sunny and breezy, highs in the low 60s. And finally, your seven-day forecast promising for the metro area Friday and Saturday for at least showers and I think mixes to maybe over to some snow as well. We're going to talk about all of this on Twitter throughout the night and tomorrow at KRQB Mark. Okay. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Mark.